So and just the mobility will help against the Earthshaker. Yeah, and the other thing I feel good about is Iowa's first pick. Overall first pick, right? Yeah. Or was it X? So. I believe it was Wisp. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah I was the overall first pick. So they're just bu building their entire right, line. Go for a kill here. Regen rune on some males already activated. Here he comes. Can he dodge the avalanche? He does. Doesn't wow. Go back in though. He didn't commit for that. Surprising. I was gonna keep the regen going. BPD was right behind him with a fissure. Yeah, Chavos is completely out of mana. There's nothing in Electric Vortex, though, so oh, that's Oh, that would issue. explain it. This is Sumail's. He built, he built the same way in the last game we saw of him, which is very unusual uh -oh. to build like uh -oh. this uh -oh. long-range nightmare. Kavos is going to get a full combo. Here comes the Fissure. It's a little bit too late, but Sumail not quite dead. He's going to go on to Goblin. The Sonic Wave coming to effect, taking out the Wisp. Oh my god, Kavos gets Black Hole. The universe is very close to dying. The Toss will finally finish him off. It is a three-for-one exchange. The Sonic Wave basically only taking out the Axe, and somehow... The Storm Spirit lives on as Goblike is now affected by Malefice. Oh. Can they dive any further? Sumail, no mana, no HP. They're going to let him live. Sick play by Sumail. He dodged the Sonic Wave by jumping just behind Dendi with the Ball Lightning. Does not get touched by it. As a result, they get a 3 for 1. Good Black Hole from Aoi as well. He only got one target, but that's still... In that situation, you want to go for that single target Black Hole if you can. And yeah, EG off to a good start. Also Universe in the right place at the right time. He has TP'd in, he's ready there with the call. No Blink Dagger available, still gets a two-person call with a great Fisher. Pretty content with just farming. And who does that really benefit, do you think? Tiny will out-farm them, uh -oh. probably. Dandy gets Orchided, and then Berserker's call, Calling Blade to follow, I'm sure, is BOOM! He drops to the deck. And he also didn't get the rune, so Mail got that. And this is classic EG, turn a key kill into a Roche if possible, fear. It's going to go in. They do have healing ward level 3. like seeing that a lot, that he has leveled it up this much. Nice Remnant giving some vision for Sumail. Fear going to 1v1 Roche for now. But Funix still has... Oh, here we have the toss. Goblox on the cliff. He's silenced and just gets destroyed by Sumail. Can't even get off the Fiend's grip. So we have more initiation. His van scores in the midst of things. There's the Ravage doing decent amount of damage, but that is 4 dead for Na'Vi. And Tiny in all likelihood will die. They even use the Black Hole just to ensure and to save Sumail's life. Definitely a good choice. They get a team wipe, they lose Axe, they get a Roche. Pretty damn good trade for you. Extremely good blink call by Universe. He finds three targets next to each other, sets up the nice and easy kill on the Wisp. Quick reactions from Sumail as well. Sees the toss coming in. His pursuit uh, there too. Yeah, great Not, fans they are. Yeah. <laughs> Way to support your team. <laughs> and it looks like this tier one's going to go the way of Navi. EG. There's a TP here, though, and it's from Enigma. Does he have a blink? He has Malefice. No, he doesn't have, he has the BKB. And here comes the Storm Spirit onto Chavos. Vansko, are you going to take him out in time? Here he goes! He's popping out. But here's the Black Hole on two. Here's Dendi! Oh my god, and the Bane gets destroyed. BKB pop for AUI. Phonix will be able to get out. A tier one for... It's going to end up being three kills in all likelihood with this... This poor Vansko Ayo. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the role you play. It's a triple kill for Universe. It's just Bane again, right? I, I don't even think... I don't think Goblax positioning was that poor, but he was in vision. And then there's so many counters, he gets the grip, instant blink call. BKB now, and what does Na'Vi need to do? They have... I mean, they have really good teamfight potential, obviously. The problem is EG has even better, I would they say. They need to play with confidence. I think if the Tide doesn't blink Ravage before the BKB on Enigma comes out, they can't win the fight. They have to be the ones opening, and they need to just go in, fully believe in their strategy, and just find a, the kind of opening they need. Just a two or three man Ravage should be enough. He doesn't need that extremely good four or five man one. Oh, As we're going to have initiation on a Chavos. Can oh, Vanscore no. take him out? There's no ult, though. And Fear even just pops him in two hits. And Chavos takes a black hole for himself. Yes, you're that important. He doesn't have a buyback. 60 seconds, he'll be dead. And with this, EG in all likelihood will push or go for Roche, which I don't think is up for another minute or so. Yeah, about And about they want to force this buyout, which isn't there. They get a lane of Rex if they play this as aggressive as possible, I think. Oh, they should lane. still be a little bit cautious, as there is a Ravage and a Sonic Wave, so if they're not full HP, they can't go. They have healing ward level 4. I'm oh, oh Echo Slam on Danny! Oh my, oh my god, the first damage is out of control. 60 seconds, he's dead, no buyback. Okay, that hurt. That, that hurt me deep down inside. Yeah. That Echo Slam. And that's a really smart play in hindsight, actually, here from EG, because there is no way Dendi would expect that to happen. He's lost two teammates that don't have buyback. He's going to expect EG to run four heroes down mid and take the tower. Instead, they split 2-2. They send two heroes top to kill off Dendi, and they still get the push done. The main pushing hero, Juggernaut, is still in the mid lane. He's going to be hitting barracks. This is probably a full lane. Well, unless they can mount Ravage some sort of incredible is online, defense. but yeah, 
Tiny comes back in a, about three seconds. Quap, another 30, though. Some they might actually only get the, get the range tracks. Yeah, I agree with that. He's going to Blade Fury, get some nice little clicks in between. As a result, we'll dodge the Avalanche completely. Kavos pops his BKB. Black Hole's not up. Ravage is going to hit basically everybody on EG, and the right clicks will be enough to take out the universe. But the chase continues, and EG just overpowering. Although Kavos still right clicking with a lot of damage. Double kill for Fear. And a counter double kill from Kovos, but there's just way too much lockdown. Malefice, everything being used. Fear takes a toss. Oh, nice play by Kovos. Kovos will alive. actually live at the end of the day. Dandy gets a nice Orchid into a Sonic Wave. Hit the healing the ward. The healing ward doing quite a bit. Fear very slow. Here comes the Enchant Totem into a Malefice, into a Fissure, into the right clicks. This is going to be enough to take out Dendi with the crit fear. <laughs> oh my goodness. And his initiations have been very... Spot on as well. As Owie jumps in with the Malefice. Fear just going to right click. Takes an avalanche to the face, however. Yeah, he does have the Aegis. Yeah, Aegis so on he Fear. Healing of Ward level 4, level up. Here we go. Onik with a nice initiation. They're trying to blow up the Enigma. He has Black Hole. It's going to be on two. Both Funnik and Kavos being caught completely. As Dendi pops the BKB as well. Onik slash being used along with Samel just taking out Wisp with no problem. Three dead. Four dead. A buyback now on Tiny. And this looks like the beginning of the end for Na'Vi as they might drop to the lower bracket as EG on the cusp of winning this series 2-1. to one. They're going to get two racks. Nope, they're leaving that one. Okay. <laughs> they, they thought about that. like, oh, okay. Well, this top lane now. Style points for faking. Like it, uh, <laughs> that would have been so bad mannered if they just left it. <laughs> and I don't think there's anything Na'Vi can do to defend this with the Aegis still intact for fear. Another very well executed game for EG, I have to say. And this is going to be Mega Creeps. If they get the third lane, yeah. Damn it! I thought they had that lane for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, here we go. Initiation Universe pops the blame. Kovos gets a really fast BKP, but that jump in by Sumail just blows up Dendi. Barely gets out in time. Kovos gets a, a melee relocate. He's going to live to see another day. Dendi might not be so lucky. Is they going to die? Fear. Pops the Manta. Still has the Aegis, remember. And Aoi just adding to his item list with a Shiva's guard. Oh my goodness, this is disgusting. Funnick does not have Ravage yet. As the toss onto a creep, Fear looks like he'll fall. Are you calling Fear a creep? Oh. Universe pops the blade mail. Sumail BP BKB going for Vanscore. Vanscore does not have relocate. He's going to fall to the right clicks of Sumail either way. And Kavos, that's the five second BKB. It is down, and he will fall to the right clicks yet again. And GG's come out. 28 to 5, EG just dominated this game. They really make that, they made that IO seem totally useless. That's one of, I feel like that's one of the few games that it's felt like Wisp has been just, there's nothing they can do. And it's, like we said, it has to do with the draft at the end of the yeah. day. But execution was there for EG, you gotta give them a lot of credit. Every single pick on EG's lineup shut down the IO. Bane never really got to do anything. On paper, a cool pick, they couldn't really make it work. He ends up being rewarded minus one fantasy point for his efforts. <laughs> Wait. I mean. Not to, okay. What did he get?